Hey everyone, my name is Nick Shalom, the former Air Force and Space Force Chief Software Officer. I'm also the founder of Assage. Today we're going to talk about what is exactly an agnostic generative AI platform. So there are two components when it comes to being agnostic. One is being agnostic to the hosting provider or the cloud. And one is about being agnostic to the large language model. So you can tap any model and not get locked in to one. So when it comes to hosting, it's pretty obvious. The benefit is to be able to run anywhere, have multi cloud iterations and being able to, of course, not only deploy your capability inside of your own clouds, but also tap, you know, Amazon, Google and Azure as well. And for government teams and also very secure enterprises, you have the ability to run Assage on premise and run completely air gapped, including for government teams on secret and top secret regions. So that's obvious that gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to hosting and cost and also security. To be agnostic, Assage was built on Kubernetes and can run containerized and effectively uh, completely air gapped and we can bring uh, on GPUs, different open source models and fine tune that as well. Now, the second and probably a little bit more important aspect of being agnostic is not to get locked into one large language model or one provider. So Assage from the get go was built to be agnostic. You can train your data once and use any large language models. It's important because you want to be able to control access your data, but you also want to be able to ingest once and try different options, try to see what sticks. We don't know which large language model will be the one winning long term and these different uh, LLMs for different things. So lots of benefits to have options. So Assage already integrated with, you know, Google uh, Bison, uh, Google Gemini Pro with Meta with Llama 2 with Azure OpenAI, of course, the most used model today with not only GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, but also GPT-3.5 16K, GPT-4 32K, GPT-4 Vision, and so on. But then we can also bring up those models. So we tried about 170 plus models. We only bring the one that really bring value to the multi-tenant enclave. But again, you can ask us to deploy an LLM on Assage. And depending on the demand, we can do it for free or you can pay for that compute and we can bring uh, an additional uh, capability for you as well. As discussed, Assage can be hosted anywhere and we can also deploy Assage inside of your environment on a dedicated tenant. We also have multi-tenant options for the Department of Defense, for the civilian agencies in the U.S., for the uh, defense industrial base and, and contractor companies of the U.S. government. And also, of course, for commercial companies, we have now over 2,500 companies and 13,000 government teams in 27 agencies using Assage. So, of course, if you look at our welcome screen, you're going to see a lot of different training videos. And if you go inside of models here, you're going to see uh, the list of the supported models that we have on the multi-tenant stack. Uh, and we tell you, you know, if it's capable of handling uh, control and classified information, CUI data from the government or sensitive data for enterprises, if it's capable of running air gapped or on the high side for classified environments. So we show you that here, but we also tell you what those models can do, right? Uh, price points, differences, uh, flexibility, you know, GPT-4 Vision obviously can ingest images, uh, you know, GPT-4 32K can do up to 80 pages of content, you know, GPT-4 Vision can do 300 pages, right? And then you can compare, you know, Daddy 3 can do uh, generation of images uh, and so on. So you can take a look, you know, GPT, uh, Google Gemini Pro, 32,000 tokens, 80 pages, right? Uh, they're working on the Federum High to be able to use it for CUI, right? So we tell you exactly the different benefits of each model and then you can decide. But again, flexibility is key. We don't know what's coming. There's new models coming up every week. We always assess them, usually within four hours of release. You know, when the big important model comes out, we have it on our stage. That's what we do. So we keep up and we want to make sure you get access to best of breed. But again, if you see a model you want, you know, and it's not listed, we can add it. You know, we've added a lot of uh, specific models for different uh, tenants, for different customers. So that's the benefit of having an agnostic uh, capability, right? You can host it anywhere. You can bring on your premises. You can bring on your clouds with your data. And more importantly, you can tap any model 
With IAPI, effectively, that gives you the ability to have a single API and tap any model without having to make any code change. So that gives you a lot of flexibility to change along the way, to learn. And of course, when you build plugins and agents, which can be human-assisted or completely automated and very complex tasks, now you can tap all these models and you have that flexibility to see what works and, and what sticks. So with that, I hope I was able to explain what is an agnostic generative AI platform and why it matters. In our next video next week, we're going to be covering uh, security and zero trust label-based access control and what that ent entails and the benefits of that and why it matters. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at sales at or on our Discord chat. The link is right here. Thanks again.